CRIEnglish.com, connecting China with the world. People can communicate and connect with each other through dialogues and conversations, but there is another way that is much more accessible and influential than words. Elliot Golub, founder of the trio Chicago and Friends, an American music group known for its international tours, which focus on cultural exchanges, says music can foster deeper communication among people without them understanding much of the other's language. It's the easiest way to communicate with people. We go into countries where we don't know a word of the language, where they. Don't know a word of English, but when you play music, the music can go from your heart to someone else's heart, and they feel something. They feel something that they actually recognize. You can't put words to it. Don't know what the words are, but you feel something, and from that point on, you make a connection with another person. Music tours help group members make friends with people around the world. Even after they say goodbye to those friends soon after those tours, their friendship remains forever. One of the students in the college where we worked with, when we went back five years later, he was a professor, and he considered us really good friends. He was just so happy to to see us again, and so it's kind of fun to be able to go back to countries and and renew the friendships. This year, the trio Chicago and Friends came to Beijing to give a performance called "Melody Over the Pacific" to mark the 40th anniversary of the U.S. President Richard Nixon's historic visit to China. The group offered a special music class to students at Guangqiu Men Middle School, and satisfied their curiosity by answering many questions about music. My Chinese music teacher tell teach us that you have to have some feelings in the in the in the during the play, but I can't get it. Everybody has feelings, and they're all the same feelings. They're feelings of love, they're feelings of Fear sometimes, feelings of worry and concern, anxiety. Those feelings, great composers, can put those feelings into notes. And then it's up to us to kind of translate those notes. Soprano Catherine Kebelane is a professional actress. She told the students about her own experiences with expressing feelings while performing. I think the first thing is you have to know your music really, really well. You have to absolutely know everything. Like when I'm doing a play, I have to learn my lines backward and forward before I can even start to let the feelings come out. And the second thing is when you're in a band, you get to share that music with all the people that you're playing with. So in our ensemble. We get to share with each other this great music we're playing, and that will help you find the feelings to share, to pay attention to how your neighbor is playing. That will help. This special class introduced new ideas to students about both music and American culture, which helped build mutual understanding between music lovers of the two countries. I think the, this music band is very, very wonderful. Uh, I want to say they are enjoy, they enjoy this enjoy the mu music and not care about uh, the result. I think it's a meaning meaning of music. There are many differences from Chinese and America.、Um, not only the music and the culture,、um, because、um, some children in China, in order to earn、um, 
to for music, but in America they, they have their enjoyment. So I think there's differences. Besides these special classes, the school band often has other opportunities to perform abroad. Zhang Jing, the school's music teacher, believes these exchanges will build a bridge between her students and people from different cultures, and such experiences will remain fresh in their memories for a long time. After the students went abroad, they saw and understood different cultures, and they could learn more than what they could get from books. I always told them, maybe you will forget what you saw after a few years, but what you have felt in your hearts will never be forgotten.